Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I have another series review for you today, and this is the arrangement series, which are the arrangement, the amendment, and the atonement by Kirsten Modglin. Now, I know that this series has been out for a minute, like almost two months now. They are available on Kindle Unlimited, but I got the atonement after it was released, and I got it as an audiobook, and I really just really digging my um, feet into trying to get as many Kirsten Mogman books as I can. So I wasn't aware of the arrangement in the amendment. So I went to my online library. I got those two as audiobooks and I binge read all three in order. And I wanted to do a video, even like I said, I've done this on TikTok, but I wanted to do this on this channel. Now, what is the arrangement? Well, you have Peter and Ainsley. Okay, their marriage is not doing so good. And their last name is Greensburg. Um, Ainsley and Peter Greensburg. Ainsley is a fixer. They've got two kids. I think their kids, are, I can't remember the ages of the kids, but they've got two kids. Their marriage has kind of hit a wall and it's not going anywhere. And it, it, it could, it could, it's falling apart. But she doesn't want a divorce. She doesn't want a separation. So she's going to fix it. So she comes up with a plan. So this plan involves an arrangement. Very, very simple rules. Here they are. They will each date someone new each week. Rule number one. Rule number two, they will never discuss what happens on that date. So date who you want. Sleep with who you want. You can only do it once a week. But don't tell me what happens. That's Ainsley's solution to their broken marriage. The thing is, it doesn't go that way. And that is the arrangement. That's all I'm going to tell you. It's only 220 pages. Guess what? Be glad I'm telling you this if you haven't heard about the series because at least you can read them back to back to back. If not on Kindle Unlimited, check out your library because the arrangement ends on a cliffhanger. Fortunately for me, I had the amendment right there at my fingertips. So I listened to the arrangement, you know, my earbud in. It was over. I jumped right into the amendment. Why, why is there an amendment? Well, <laughs> because... The problems in their marriage went from bad to worse when those rules about their new dating lives were exposed. In fact, Ainsley learned secrets about Peter and Peter learned secrets about Ainsley and now they've got bigger problems than they could have ever um ever expected. In fact, in fact, somebody has a secret, huge secret. Should that secret be exposed, people are going to go to jail. Okay. So are they going to let this family fall apart? No. Remember, Ainsley's a fixer. So she amends their arrangement. Okay. Now, if this is going to work, she has to trust Peter and Peter has to trust her. But remember, one of them has a huge secret. Secondly, they both start to do things that are completely and utterly uncouth. By their actions, it's going to take a huge measure of trust. Huge measure of trust. So what are you reading? Well, don't read the amendment before you read the arrangement. In many cases, books can be read as standalones, but not this series. Read the arrangement first, then read the amendment. Okay, that's the sequel. Remember how I said that the arrangement ended with a cliffhanger? 
guess what? So did the amendment. Fortunately for Robin, I had it right there. So books one and two, the arrangement in the amendment I got from my library, but book number three, the atonement I got from Neck Alley as an audiobook arc. So I was able to listen to that as well. So now this fixer that Ainsley is has really gone You can get whiplash, okay? Because it's a vicious game of cat and mouse, okay? Does Ainsley really know who Peter is? And the fact that she's a fixer, can she hold the reins? Remember, she's she's doing all this, you know, if you think like a puppet show, she's holding all the strings. But is she able to hold on to this idea that this marriage is going to make it no matter what. Okay? I don't want to say too much. I can't even tell you about the atonement. Because I would spoil the arrangement and the amendment. So for a series review, this is going to be one of my shortest book reviews. Book review videos. It's going to be one of my shortest ones. That's all I'm going to say. So... Tell me two things. A, have you heard of Kirsten Marklin and have you read this? Any of these books. Then the third thing you can tell me is after you have gone to your Kindle Unlimited and downloaded these and read these 200, 230 page books, boom, boom, boom. Tell me what you think of them. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.